In this video, I'm going to show you what you're supposed to do after you have defeated the first boss, the Ichthyr boss in Valheim. So the first thing you want to do is head to the Black Forest. The Black Forest is the new best biome that you're going to be spending all your time in, and you've got to find a dungeon. A dungeon will usually look like a kind of like a rock cave or something like just above ground, and you'll be able to kind of walk into it. Be careful though, it is usually guarded by about three skeletons or some other monsters, and you just kill them, go inside the cave, and make sure you kill the skeletons, play it's safe, take a shield, take a axe, I usually use those weapons, they work best for me, and then just make sure you block attacks from skeletons so that you don't take damage, so it's instead on your shield, which is perfect, and then just hit them when you, like, right after you block an attack, so block, hit, and then just keep going through this whole, like, kind of maze-like cave dungeon thing, it's really not that confusing, I just stick to the left, and I just take every single left that I can, and that's how you kind of find your way throughout this whole thing, your main thing that you're looking for here are searchling cores, they look like these kind of like red tesseracts kind of thing so like kind of like this red glowing cube that you'll find that's almost used as a torch in most locations and you can just pick that up there's also some treasures and stuff lying around there's the yellow mushrooms that you're actually able to eat as well they kind of act like your like raspberries and blueberries so you can actually eat them and get an extra food buff if you don't have one but apart from that, the main reason why you're here is you're looking for a special kind of stone. And when you find the stone, it will actually reveal the location of the next boss, the Elder. So once you've got that, you can actually start preparing for your, your next boss fight. And to prepare for your next boss fight, you can use the antlers that you got from defeating the Ichthyr boss to create a pickaxe and start mining copper and tin in order to craft bronze to make bronze items. Now once you've collected some good bronze items, it's a good time to actually go back to the Black Forest and collect some activation resource materials so that you can start or activate the next boss fight, the Elder, using the special items called the Ancient Seeds, which you need three of to start the fight. The best way to get these ancient seeds is to find a monster spawner in the Black Forest with the Grey Doors. It's kind of like this pink looking like thing just glowing and stuff. You really can't miss it. It looks so ominous and like really sticks out. And all you have to do is wait until the Grey Dwarf Brutes spawn. They'll be like the biggest ones, like the big bulky looking scary dudes. They usually spawn like every so often, like every 10 kind of Grey Dwarf spawns. And all you have to do is kill them, and sometimes they will drop an Ancient Seed. It's not guaranteed, but usually they will. And if they are a higher star level or, like, you know, special star rank level, they sometimes drop more Ancient Seeds. So when you're ready for the boss fight, you can bring your best upgraded weapons, your best armor, some fire arrows is recommended, stone if you want to make it a bit easier for yourself, which I'll tell you about in a second, some stone if you want to make it a bit easier for yourself so that you can actually start making some extra pillars to hide behind when the boss shoots his special tendrils at you. It costs four stone to raise the ground one level. So place down a workbench next to the boss location area there so you can actually use your hoe, and you're going to use your hoe to raise the ground. Now this costs four stone every single time you raise the ground and you can just stand, point down directly at the floor and then just raise the ground like 10 times and you can make a pillar of this size and you can just bring like like a few stacks of stone, like maybe two or three, just to make some pillars around there so that you can hide around during the fight. When you're ready to start the fight, all you have to do is put those three ancient seeds in your hotbar and press the number that it's in while looking at the altar to start the fight. The boss appears at the golden sparks in the air, so hide at the opposite end of where he's about to appear. It's also best to fight this boss with a fine wood bow, fire arrows, or bronze arrows for the best damage. This boss mainly does two moves when you're fighting him in a ranged circumstance. The first move that he'll do is he'll reach his hand out and he'll shoot these tendrils at you, these wooden tendrils. It's kind of scary, it does a lot of damage, and you want to make sure you hide behind something solid like a pillar on, or, or like one of those ground pillars that we made that are around the arena there. The second move he will do will summon small vines at your location all around you and they will try slam on you if you're nearby them. So run to another pillar when this happens, but beware because he usually does his tendrils attack right after summoning the vines. So as you're moving away from your defense, he, he kind of like whacks you with the tendrils and he does a lot of damage. So you got to actually kind of be careful. You kind of got to stay behind a pillar, protect yourself and also avoid the tendrils and the vines at the same time. So you want to spend most of the time trying to hide behind a pillar so that you're as safe as possible so you don't get hit by those tendrils. And that makes this the trickiest part of the fight. So something that might help you deal damage while you're doing all this running and hiding 
are fire arrows because fire arrows when you shoot them at the elder he will take burning damage for a few ticks after you've shot him with the arrow and you can also start running around and avoiding all of the other things while still doing damage to him while like in the form of him burning and that's generally the strategy that i used so just keep running from pillar to pillar hiding from the tendrils as much as you can and shooting him with fire arrows or normal arrows just to bring him down the quickest way possible once you've defeated him he will drop a swamp key as well as a trophy We'll talk more about the Swamp Key in my next video on what to do after the Elder Boss. I hope this guide was helpful in directing you for where you should go, what you should do, and how you should do it, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching.